Hi, my name's Dana. Uh, thanks for joining. I'm going to talk to you guys today a little bit about um, how I make a biodynamic fertilizer mix. I grow a lot of common weeds that I learned about the healing properties of from an awesome herbalist in America called Susan Weed. And she came into my life at a time when I was um, suffering with my health. And yeah, she's amazing. She talks about common healing weeds that we can use um, to infuse our bodies with vitamins and minerals. But not only that, they also do exactly the same thing for the earth. So these common herbs I use to make teas. I also use to make a giant tea with to use as a fertilizer for my garden. And the kinds of herbs I use are things like comfrey, stinging nettle, dandelion. This is a bed that has some of those. So we've got some nettle here, some comfrey here, and in some other beds we have the other herbs and i all i literally do is take chunks a little bunch of each of those into a bucket with water i put all the herbs in the water with some cow manure a little bit of seaweed and i let that steep for about two weeks um up to three weeks and that then becomes a concentrate you can use and dilute on all of your garden beds um, and I'll just show you some of the ingredients and that process now. Thanks. Hi guys, so I'm back just to give you a demo of how I make the biodynamic fertilizer and you can kind of change it up a little bit, but this is a really good one for if you're using on things like greens, such as shards, cabbages and lettuces, and I grow a lot of those. So this is a really awesome recipe. I use a 20 litre bucket and fill it with about 12 litres of water and then to that you add about two litres of cow manure so I've already like prepped some here so we'll just tip the cow manure into the bucket and then we're adding some of nature's goodness so these are all the plants that I grow the common weeds that are really good for um, bringing vitamins and minerals into this little concoction and I've even got some cabbage leaves. So we just take the, um, whatever one we're using, we just snip it into the bucket into small pieces like this. So it kind of makes sense that you might feed the same plant to the plant that you're trying to grow. Oh, that makes sense to me anyway. So a bit of cabbage to help the cabbages grow in the garden. Um, and then the next one we'll do is dandelion. Dandelion's an awesome plant for us in salads or in smoothies. It's a really good plant um, for detoxing the liver and supporting the pancreas. So I'm a big fan of that. So we'll put in some dandelion. And I also put in um, violet, the oridata. And I haven't really got many that are in bloom at the moment. I've got a little one here. So we're just going to put a little bit in today. There you go. So beautiful. And um, a little bit of stinging nettle. I'm saving some. I'm actually drying this to make some tea. But we'll use a little bit in this fertilizer. Careful not to touch it because it's super spiky. And then lastly, some comfrey. Comfrey is an amazing plant for um, inflammation and healing joints, or if you have some kind of um, bone pain, or even if you break a bone um, or sprain an ankle, this is a brilliant plant to kind of rough around the joints, or you can, you can buy um, the homeopathic creams. And it's an amazing fertilizer. Um, one of my friends actually just lets it go to mush in the garden and then throws the mush back straight onto the soil. So she fertilizes in that way. Um, I just put mine into this little concoction. And leave that for about two weeks. And then when it's ready, take out about a cup to two cups, put it in your watering can and then dilute with water and you use that as a fertilizer on your garden for a bunch of happy plants. Good luck.